Can I make my own sanitizers? There are plenty of commercial sanitizers on the market, but making your own is easy and cost effective. Any kind of unscented household bleach will work. Doesn't matter the brand, but what you want to look for on the label is that it says between five and eight percent sodium hypochlorite. That's the effective agent. All you need is a half a teaspoon in two cups of water. and mix it. That's all the more that you need to make a very effective sanitizer. Now, you do need to make it fresh daily because after it's sat for a day, basically all you have is salty water. So pour out your old, fill your bottle with the new, and because it does break down that way, you want to put a label on it so that you remember the date. So, put your label. I like to use a piece of tape so I don't end up marking my bottle. And we're ready to go. A lot of your other commercial sanitizers are based on bleach too. But some of them are based on ammonia. You don't want to mix the two. Ammonia plus bleach can give you a very toxic, irritating gas. Now, for cleaning, the most important thing is you want to be sure you wash first. So use soapy water to wash your surface, then rinse it, and then we're going to spray it to sanitize it. If you just put bleach in soapy water, the soap neutralizes the bleach. It does absolutely no good. If you put your sanitizer on a dirty surface, the dirty food, the grease, the oil, any of that will neutralize the bleach or keep the bleach from reaching the bacteria. And finally, spray it and just leave it sit. Give the bleach at least a minute to do its job. It's less work for you. For more fast answers to safe food questions, check out our other FAQs on our website, hillsborough.ifas.ufl.edu, and search on safe food.